Hello Charles, this is the first video in a series of short training videos on how to manage your website. Uh, this is the screen that you will see when you first get logged in. This is called the dashboard of the website and you'll see down the left hand side here there is a menu to access different things. I think the main thing that you're going to be doing uh, is going to be blogging so you would just come right here to blog on the left hand side and click that. And you can see you get the screen here on the right hand side changes once you do that. Here is the post that has already been published. If you want to edit that, you can just click on the edit button right here. Uh, if you want to add a new post, you just come right up here to the upper right and click create new post. So what we're actually going to do while you're sitting here right here next to me is uh, we're going to actually go ahead and come in here because we've decided to do pictures on these. Um, so I think you can click just right here on the title, but there's this edit button right here. Go ahead and click that. And then let's see, there's a bunch of stuff over here. Let's go add mm, settings. Yes, cover image is what we're looking for here. See what we get when we add this. Going to find out right along with me. So these are the files that are already loaded to the site. Um, in this case, obviously, we... Um, we need to upload one. So, so yeah, these are the these are the images that have already been uploaded to the site. You can use these multiple times. If it's already here, you don't need to upload it again. You can just find it here. Uh, in our case, we're going to upload media, and we're gonna. It lets you pull from social sites if you want that belong to you, but we're just gonna upload it from the computer. And I put it right here on the desktop. Here is the cropped version. You're going to want to keep the images this roughly four by six proportion. Um, there we go. Add to page. And that will be available. To you Publish. Page. Yep. So let's come over here and see if that worked. There we are. There's that happy human. So. I believe that it's going to crop all of your images to roughly this shape anyway but it works better if you crop them to this size because if you put a vertical in here and the subject matter is up at the top it's going to crop it to the middle and it's not going to show you the right the right thing so um yeah so that's basically it and obviously that's one that was already written so let's just go ahead we're going to create a fake post here just to kind of go through the process let's hit create new post And um, then we're going to, let's go get some Latin placeholder text just to throw in there so that it looks like a real blog post. I'm going to copy that. Yeah, I've seen one before. Yeah, pretend like it's a couple paragraphs long. Uh, and then again, we come right up here, no, it's here, to add our featured image. So it's under settings. And we'll say display something there, and we will again upload something new. Let's just pick something uh, silly. So we found an image there, uh, and we've uploaded it. We'll add it to the page. Again, that doesn't show up inside the blog post. This is the cover feature image, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can also here within your blog post add different things. So if we want to add an image within here, you can do that. So here we've got our text and we can come here and say add image. It's the same interface as the other stuff you were looking at. Let's just pick one from the media library this time. There it is. You can resize this so it's not taking up so much room. For the blog posts, you, there are quite a few um, formatting options in here. I would suggest that you just keep it simple. This doesn't need to be a design masterpiece. It is nice to add photos to help break up the stuff. Sometimes it can be nice to, if it gets long, add extra headlines in here. That also helps visually break it up. I wouldn't go crazy adding, making things bold and italics and different color text. It just makes it hard to read. That's, that's my suggestion. So then when we're done here, if you're not ready to publish it, you can save it as a draft, which means it's going to be saved on the back end of the site, 
but it won't show on the front right. end yet. If you're ready to publish it, you just you can also hit schedule post. So let's say you want it to come out on a certain day and you're going to be away or you're not going to have internet or you just don't want to have to remember to go do it. You can schedule oh. it and it'll publish it for you on the day that you want it to publish. Uh, for our purposes right now, we're just going to go ahead and hit just regular publish and publish it now. We can come back here. Ta-da! There's your new blog post. So this is really going to be, I think, the heart and soul of your website is just, you know, publishing these. You can see here what happens when the, the images are different proportions. So if you don't mind that, that's fine. Um, you know, but it, it'll, it'll throw the grid off. You can see here the bottom of this one is lower than the bottom of this one here. And so it's probably fine if, if you pick horizontal, you know, three by fives or four by sixes. If you were to throw a vertically oriented image in here, it might be it's very strange looking. Okay, well, uh, one of the first ones I want to post. So when you're ready for it, there are categories here, and you can create categories. It might be best if you wait until you've published 10 or 20 of them so that you kind of get a sense for what categories you're going to need. Because you don't want to go adding too many of them willy-nilly. You kind of want to try to limit it to uh, categories that are going to make sense to everybody, right? So let's just go ahead and we will create a new fake category here. I don't know that this is going to be the greatest one for you because I think we're going to have an event calendar, so I don't know oh, that, okay. that that will matter. But we'll just use that as an example anyway. It doesn't matter all that much right now. Okay. Uh, we'll click Save. And then it should be that when we come back here to our blog posts, and we come into one of these, we should be able to add it to a category right here, categories, Braver Angel Events. And you can add posts to more than one category. If it comes, if the subject matter spans two categories, you can, like, uh, just click, you can check, check multiple categories for it. And so, uh, like with the example site that we were looking at here, I can never get there. If something fits into both Measuring Minds and Oregon Insider, then they would still get it no matter which category they clicked. That's, that's the, the point of that there. If you find that you've published one and you don't want to delete it, but you don't want it to show just yet, again, you can come back here to edit. And you should be able to come back here and you can say revert to draft. And that way, now your post is saved, but then when we go to the front and refresh it, it disappears. So if you accidentally publish it, it's not the end of the world. It's You don't have to delete. You can retract it from the front end of the site and keep working on it. So I'm not seeing how to do it for the entire blog, but you can... Uh, I am going to show you how to turn commenting on or off for a particular post. So we can come in here to edit that post. And then over here on the left side, again under the settings, and the advanced tab, and enable commenting so we can turn it on and off right here. So there are some very basic formatting tools across the top here. They're going to look very much like you're familiar with in Word. Um, if you want to add some more headlines, you can see right here, we've got it as we've written headline. We can just come right here. So headings go in importance from lower numbers to higher numbers. This is a more important headline. This is a less important headline. So there, we've made it an H3. We can go back to our paragraph text. And, you know, you can do all of the regular things. Uh, to make your to make your post a little more readable, um, you know you can do some indents. Probably 
uh, you know, this adds it as a, as a block quote, which sets it off a little bit, which can be nice if you're quoting somebody. Uh, this, though, is an important one. Uh, this is to create a link. So if you want to link to one of your other posts, or even more likely want to link to, to something else. Like bravery. Sure. Um, I would really suggest that when you're linking out, that you actually go to the site rather than trying to remember what the URL is, and you actually go here to the bar, and you copy that, and then you go back to your post. You can highlight your text that you want to link. Come right up here to the link. Paste it in. The default it looks like here is to open it in a new tab. And indeed, if you are linking outside of your own site, you want it to open in a new tab. And the advantage of that is that Is that then when they click this, it opens in a new tab, and then when they're done with that site and they close it, they're still back without having to hit the back button. Yes. I, I think that should cover most of what you need to know for adding blog posts to your site. Headlines, we've got some formatting here. You can insert the image. Uh, again, it's under the settings here where you add the feature image, which is what controls how it shows up in the list view here. Um, and you can also change the publish date. So if at some point you want to change the order that these display in, you can actually forcibly change the date that it was published on so that it changes the order of the posts. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that really should, that really should cover most of it. We can get more in depth with some, some things further on, but that, that should definitely get you started. Let's just go ahead and come back here. Uh, and delete this guy. It'll all be in when you tell me where I find this. Or maybe it's on my own website or something. I don't know if I did. Uh, uh, 